Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World or Rockford Trading Company on eBay. Uh, today has been a very busy day for me. I got up really early this morning because I wanted to be to the thrift store at 9 o'clock when the sale started. I got there about 9.30, which was pretty good for me. Um, before I left, I was uh, letting the pets out and eating breakfast, and I thought to myself, I can't forget to put my bin of items for the postman out on the porch before I leave. Well, I go to the thrift store, and I was uh, just starting to get things uh, into my bags when I remembered I hadn't put the bin out. So... I had, I, I just kept, I kept on thrifting. I mean, I kept on buying, you know, putting things in my bag until it got to be about, I don't know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And then I had to uh, pay for those and run home, put the bin out for the postman, because if I would have missed the postman, I would have had to go back to the, got, you know, the things out of the bin and went back to town to the post office again. So I brought the things home. I put them in the house, put the bin out and went back to the thrift store for the second time. Well, I forgot to mention, I forgot. I, uh, the first time I was at the, uh, thrift store, I bought myself a little recliner. They had called me yesterday. I, they had put my name in for a small little recliner, you know, a lady size. Some of those recliners are just huge and they won't fit in the spot that I want it. So I'm replacing a chair that's just so broken down uh, with this other one that's almost the same color, not quite, but <clears throat> uh, I got, I bought that right away. It was on sale for $99. Of course, I can't get it to my house because I have a Honda Accord, <laughs> and I have no one to tra uh, haul it for me. So they will deliver it for twenty-five dollars. So still, ninety-nine dollars plus twenty-five dollars is a lot cheaper to buy a little recliner there than any furniture store. So uh, it's in really good condition. And to tell you the truth, I'm not even sure how far it goes back. It may not go back hardly at all, but it does lift my feet up, which is what I want, you know. And it fits me better and is in much better shape than mine. So I didn't know whether to buy the pillows uh, that they had just stuck on there with it. Uh, I'll show you a picture <clears throat> if I can find it quick here. Uh, because the pillows went so well with the chair, but I can always go back and get them. They didn't. They didn't come with the chair. I mean, they they definitely didn't. That wasn't part of the uh, deal. But <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this. Here's the chair, and those were the pillows. I mean, they go with the chair really well, but they don't have a zipper on them. So once they're wrecked, they're wrecked. You know. Here's the chair without the pillows, and that's what I have coming. They're delivering it Monday already. So that's my little chair. Uh, so let's get down to what I bought as far as clothing and stuff goes. This is uh, bags from both trips that I went. I had to check out once and then check out again. Uh, I also, let me show you this. This isn't part of my thrifting. I saw this in the kids' section, and it's a game little box. It has a uh, thing on to play chess and checkers on the top, and then it has a drawer full of all these different pieces to play all the games. And here, you pull out this and put it on top. There's a Parcheesi board. And then there's this game, whatever that is. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, if anybody knows, they can tell me. Maybe that's what cribbage looks like. I don't know. Then there's another one that shoots and ladders. 
And here's a backgammon board and then tic-tac-toe. And then this along here with these dice. I'm not sure what that is either. But in the bag of things, in the bag, in this drawer, in fact, in the bottom of the drawer is uh, to play marbles. Everything, all the pieces are in here. Plus, there's also directions. So, and I see there's a, a game of pickup pick sticks in here. Those long sticks. Pickup sticks, remember that? We used to play pickup sticks. So, this is not my, my grandson has his first Holy Communion tomorrow. Uh, this isn't his Holy Communion present. He's just getting a check for his first Holy Communion. But I'll give it to him. I just thought it was a fun thing to have. The kids can play different games together. But, uh, okay, let me uh, show you what I got. I spent a total, both... Uh, both trips came to $91, and it turned out to be 30 items, which comes out to be about $3 a piece. So that's how I figured. So I'm going to show you these two shirts before they, I don't want them to get really wrinkled. Uh, both of these are Brooks Brothers. And they're big sizes. The next size is 18 and sleeve 35. And they're slim fit, no iron. And they're both buttoned down. And there's that pattern. That pattern. And another blue pattern. This pattern. And they're both the same size, 1835. And they're the Brooks Brothers, uh, just the white label, slim fit, non-iron. So those are good, what they call bread and butter items. Uh, they can, I, I don't care. I'm more of a long, what they call a long tail seller, which I really don't care how long the things sit in my, uh, in my eBay store. It doesn't cost hardly anything. To have them sit there and re you know relist them so uh, because I I went up to the premium store so I get a whole lot of listings free more than I'll ever use probably so all right here is a uh, Tommy Bahama 100% silk size large uh, like a Hawaiian, like all his shirts are sort of Hawaiian type patterns. It's a nice one. I couldn't find any anything wrong with the silk. <clears throat> and that's so good. And I bought these. Now I don't know. I may these may go in the package uh, for my son with his birthday presents. <laughs> His birthday presents are all golf things, but he has a they have a pool, so uh Velcro isn't on here, right? Somebody didn't close it right, but it's by Aeropostal, nothing exciting. Uh but uh I thought they were pretty nice looking. They're actually board shorts. They're not really swimming trunks. They don't have the mesh inside. Some are, are both, you know. These are these will be called uh, board shorts. They're size 32. So I'm not sure whether I'll give them to him or maybe I'll just ask him if he wants a pair. But if not, they'll go on for sale. Then I got this cute little denim, white denim jacket for, for uh, summer. By Chico's size two, so that's in Chico's sizes. That's like a, uh, I think like a size twelve, a medium type size, but 
It's a cute denim jacket and has some silver threads in there that kind of sparkle. And the buttons are fancy. Fancy buttons. And on the back, it goes, the pattern goes all the way down the back. So it's really nice and white and uh, so Chico sells pretty good. And in the other, when I was looking at denim jackets, this was, uh, this is by Angels, the same one I get, the Angels jeans. And this is a little denim jacket, and it has some bling there in the pockets. That's, there's, uh, what size is this? This is a size large. Huh, this may fit me. So it's a nice, nice denim jacket. I like to wear denim jackets with jeans. And uh, the pockets are tiny. They wouldn't hold much of anything. They have two uh, pockets up tight, up, up tight, up top, and these tiny little pockets down here. I like big pockets, you know. Big pockets you can fit your phone in, you don't have to worry about falling out, and you can put your keys in there when you get out of your car. You know, I like pockets that are, are deep, deeper than these, but. That's, I like that. I like the bling stuff. I have to try that one, huh? <clears throat> Here is a... This was regular price. Uh, all sweaters and blouses and things are normally $5, so they're half price. So these are $2.50, unless they're otherwise marked on the tag. Sometimes they're marked up like to eight and then they'd be four or ten and they'd be five, you know. So this is a Chico's thing too. Also a uh, size two, which is a 12. And it's a open knit short sleeve. You can just wear a tank underneath that. Cotton uh, sweater. Well, cotton and polyester. It's like half and half in the turquoise color. <clears throat> and here is an Eileen Fisher. I found a few Eileen Fisher things, which is really good because they sell right away. Eileen Fisher. This is a medium. It's just that sort of, uh, whatever you call that green, lime green, not real bright. But uh, this wasn't marked up either. So, <clears throat> just a little shirt. There's another green, and this is by Ann Taylor Loft in a medium. It has a draped uh, neck, kind of pretty. <clears throat> My daughter-in-law loves Ann Taylor stuff, but she's very picky of what she wears, and she only wears very dark colors. She would never wear this color. <laughs> she never wears anything other than black and grays, I never see her in colors, but I see a lot of black things in Ann Taylor. I'm going to buy her some stuff, see what she says. <clears throat> Here is a uh, top by Fila, Fila, however you pronounce that sports brand. Fila. Uh, this beautiful pink coral color. And what size is this? This is a medium. My daughter wanted some tight-fitting spandex type tops to wear when she's riding with her riding clothes, but I don't know if she'll wear this color or not. 
Maybe, but it has such a wide uh, V neck. Let's see. I think it's really pretty myself. Here's another Chico's. Somebody brought in a lot of Chico's things. This is a blouse in a really small size zero. Their size zero is like a four, size four, two, two, two size. Size four, I think it is. I think. I I have the Chico size thing here. <clears throat> I have the Levi's and the Chico size sizing. Okay. Uh, zero, Chico zero means small or size four. So that's what this would be. This is super soft. It's a... Uh, Poly, some poly and mod, model, modal, whatever that is. But it's like a jacket uh, blouse. Buttoned all the way down. It has pockets. And in the back, it's gathered there at the waist. And it, you can put the sleeves up like this or let them down. They're three quarters. Uh, Three quarter sleeves, but they they're just uh, up like that. So in a soft yellow, gold yellow color. <clears throat> I thought that was different, interesting. And then I found a J Jill. I think this is J Jill. Yep, J Jill. However, it's an extra small. And it is, feels like linen. Let me see what it is here. <clears throat> yep, 100% linen. So this wasn't marked up either. I'll have to steam this. I have yet to use my little steamer that came. I, can, I have a couple things up there to, to uh, steam. I should make a YouTube thing about when I'm trying to do that. This is just a little blouse fitted. And it's like that in the back. Cute, but very small. And here's another Eileen Fisher. This is a two-piece. The under piece is just like a little tank top. And it's a size, what size is this? It's a petite medium. It's, it's a dark red, but not quite as dark as it shows on the screen there. And the overtop is like a, a thin, uh, it's almost see-through. Can you see? Yeah, you can see through it. Uh, and a petite medium. It's by Eileen Fisher Petites. And the outer blouse has long sleeves. And this was marked up to $10 for the two pieces. And uh, so that wasn't bad because it was $5 in for both pieces. So it's a button front and we'll see how that goes. <coughs> Not a wonderful color for summer, but. Okay. I also, well, I'll explain that after I get through this, these things. Uh, this, what is this? By Cabby. This is a newer Cabby tag. The, uh, the older ones are more rectangle well they're thicker you know they're like that size not that size but they're not as thin as that they're I don't know what you call th thicker <laughs> so this is just a little top sort of strange shape his uh, I think he call these bat bat wing sleeves 
it's real loose and it's an extra small so you can imagine this is very drapey I'll have to get it on the mannequin to see what it really is supposed to look like that's the back <clears throat> I bought it because of the brand and one of the two style there's a few styles that are on in right now one is off the shoulder things like this the stretch necks where you can put them off your shoulder and this one is by <laughs> chaps It has elastic around the sleeves too. They're like three, three quarter sleeves, with the elastic around the neck and a little band around the bottom. That's not elastic, but so I bought that because of the elastic neck, and it's great color to go with jeans. <laughs> And this is the other, this is another one. This is the reason I bought this, even though it is a Michael Kors, which is a good brand. There's his tag. And it's a uh, small, I guess it's a petite, yes, small petite. And it's the uh, elastic neck. It has elastic uh, smocking type stuff around the waist and elastic around the sleeves. And this was not marked up, so this was cost two fifty. Pretty blues. And here is a uh, Banana Republic size medium, but this is pure silk, all silk. Very, very light, weighs nothing. And this was not marked up, so it was it's 250. There's a little flounce around. Be nice for under a uh, beige jacket or something. Okay, another thing that's in are peasant blouses. Uh, and this is what this is. You know, these used to be popular back in the 70s, 60s and 70s, remember? In the hippie age. Uh, and they're back. Everything comes back in style. So, the peasant blouses, and this is by Chaps. This is also SP. I suppose it doesn't say petite, but I'm thinking maybe it's petite. I don't know. So, I got that because of the style. There weren't Many things in the men's department. I got a few things, but not that many. Here's a pair of shorts, men's shorts by Columbia in a size uh, 38, which is good. Look about these. <clears throat> they're cargo shorts, but they're not real long. They're they have the pockets on the sides, but they're not long cargo shorts. They're regular uh, casual short size, length, I mean. And they have uh, buttoned uh, pockets in the back. Since I have that one pair of women's shorts that I've put on auction now, I've gotten a bit on them, that was missing the back button. <laughs> Make sure I check for sure about buttons. These are the Columbia brand and here is a cute pair of little shorts these are real tiny too they're by Columbia they're a size four uh, they're by called they're the brand or the style is called super bonehead 
and they have little uh, little fish and sailboats and little like uh, these are supposed to be little uh, you know drinks, fancy drinks, little pair of shorts, beige with the pink uh, pink, and on the back is that tag that I had a shirt that is already sold says performance fishing gear so these little shorts are for to be out on the boat with go fishing so there you go if you're a size four I have these shorts for you here <clears throat> And here's a pair of capris. Nice gray color. Nice feeling fabric. Ann Taylor, size 4, signature fit, uh, lower on the waist. <clears throat> and these are, what are they? They're 100% cotton. They feel like they have nylon or something in, but they, they don't. It's just a really nice cotton. In the gray. Nice pair of capris. <clears throat> I sure have a lot of capris this year, uh, selling a lot of capris. Here's another pair of Jade Jill. <clears throat> uh, this is pure Jill because it's pure linen. It's all linen. It's just a big top <laughs> and short sleeve it's marked up to ten dollars so this was five dollars it's a big wide uh <clears throat> look how big this is for a small this is a size small linen really cool <laughs> for summer for those hot days, this would be a really cool blouse. You could put it over a bathing suit, I suppose. <clears throat> so, 100% linen. Uh, here's another Eileen Fisher. Sue, so remember that brand now. I'm going to tell you what she did for me. My sister. Uh, this is a little cardigan, uh, see-through, really light. Uh, <clears throat> this is a small, and you can never put the, all the information in one spot. They make you dig for it. It's 100% linen. This is an open weave linen. Now, you can't get any cooler than that. You just want something to cover up a little bit. <clears throat> and here is a jacket I got. Uh, it's a golfing, golf jacket, Arnold, Arnold Palmer. Beige uh, zip jacket. In really nice condition. This was marked up to nine, so this was four fifty. Nice, nice deep pockets. This is a nice looking, you know, beige Arnold Palmer. In fact, these pockets. Am I seeing right? No. Yeah, these pockets are zipped, or no, snapped. I guess it's snapped. I thought I saw a zipper. I was probably looking at this. But this is my son's size, too. He should come up to my upstairs where I have the, a lot of the men's things hanging. If he needs anything. Okay, I have one more bag from that store. <coughs> and 
did get a purse. I found a purse. This is a, a better purse than the ones that I got the other day because this is all leather. And it's by Gianni Bernini. Gianni Bernini. I had to look that up. But they were going pretty high. <clears throat> so uh, I got it. It's in dark brown. Has a tiny bit of wear down here, but not bad at all. It is super soft, super soft leather. And this opens up on the front here with all kinds of compartments. It's so dark, showing anything dark. But it has credit card compartments and a phone place and uh, lots of. Uh, a good useful purse <clears throat> and a big an outer pocket and inside is <clears throat> is a couple other compartments in there so a nice use useful youthful useful <laughs> having word problems can you tell today uh, Soft leather purse. This was marked up to twelve dollars, so this was six dollars. I paid, I paid up for this six dollars, but it was going pretty high. So I'm hoping that I'll get I'll get at least thirty dollars from that. Uh, this is a Harley Davidson women's large top. See, Harley Davidson. This is marked up too. Anything Harley Davidson's always marked up. This is marked up to nine dollars for this. So this was four fifty. It's sort of an in interesting uh, weave on this. <clears throat> There's a women's large long sleeve, <clears throat> and this is uh shiny it's not metal i don't know what that is on there it looks like metal and a couple pair of jeans i found levi's uh perfect slimming 512 boot cut <laughs> uh, slim jeans in black and the size is it 10? 10 medium. Boy, if those are 10, I sure couldn't get in those. <clears throat> I can't imagine those are a 10. I hope these aren't a 10 girls. I don't know, they're slim, slim jeans. To look those up and see what the measurements for that uh, 512 Levi's are. This, these are Levi's also. Uh, mid rise skinny. These are also skinny jeans in a medium. Skinny, skinny. And these are a size 8. You don't look much different than that 10. There's some skinny people out there. So those pair, two pair of skinny jeans, which are the thing right now. One more piece I got at that store. This is a large, and this is a really cool uh, Columbia Size uh, large. What is this made out of? I think this was acrylic, if I looked at, remember. Acrylic and polyester in cotton. So just a nice beige, uh, real lightweight uh, cover up sweater. Has a rolled, sort of a rolled neck, beige. For cool nights. 
Now, I'll tell you what my sister did, which is, uh, I have one viewer, so it's probably her. <laughs> but for anybody else that's listening, uh, after the fact, my sister lives across the street from her church, and they were having a rummage sale. And she was helping putting the things out. And the rummage sale started today. However, she got to shop before the rummage sale opened. And she sent me a bunch of stuff there in those priority boxes. I have not opened and looked at any of these things yet. I opened the, the boxes so I wouldn't have to uh, fumble around with them. I know she told me one was a coat, so I'll open that's what's in this flat uh, one. But I for sure open this one first because, you know, once these are sealed shut, you have to be like King Kong to open these. You know, I almost gave myself a hernia trying to open this box. So this, I believe, is the coat. Oh, and maybe something else. In there. Look at that in a minute. This is the LL Bean Women's Regular Medium with a nice uh, corduroy. This is like that loden green color. She said it'd be a good barn coat, which it certainly would. Uh, buttons down the front. Has uh, flips, uh, they call these flip sleeves. And it's like uh, over the hip, nice big pockets. Nice big flap pockets. Should step back here. It looks uh, hardly worn at all. Yes, nice L.L. Bean. Uh, it's cotton. It's all cotton, and uh, it's lined and has cotton corduroy. And there's a tag, L.L. Bean. You did good, Sue. <laughs> of course, the shipping, you know, adds on, on to the price, but... I would charge shipping to anybody that would buy this because I charge shipping for anything that's over 16 ounces, so that's okay. And this is in there. This looks like some um, bathing. She said she got a couple board shorts or bathing. Oh, these are the ties. She told me I was so tempted to run up there, but I'd have to just drive. Up to Erie, it's 100 miles. I'd have to drive up and back in the same day, and that's just getting to be too much driving for me. She said there were bags full of ties. So, you know, I love ties. I don't know why. It's the only way men have to dress up and, to, you know, add things uh, to their accessories. Uh, I never heard of this. It'd be fun to look these up. R O F F E. Roth. Roth A. It's a uh, real artsy looking tie. Pretty. Ooh, this is a nice one, too. This is like, yep, I knew it. This is Jay Garcia. I recognize his ties now when I see them. Look at that one. Yes, Jay Garcia. I've sold every one I put on. <clears throat> and they usually have a t name. And this one is called Absalom, Absalom, Absalom Bar. I don't know. I can't pronounce that. What does that say? Absalom Bar. 
It's in collection 37. <clears throat> so he does these really artsy ties. And they are very popular. And here is one by Pierre Cardin. In grays and blacks, a little bit of blue. That's pretty. When, when my daughter-in-law was here looking at my ties for my son to wear to the communion, she had a blue shirt and his pants are black, and this would have gone perfectly. She found a couple, but uh, all of these, in fact. Look at this one. This is by Clarici. Clarici? This definitely sounds Italian, which is good. <clears throat> Still made in China. Most everything's made in China. But that's a really pretty tie, too. Look, it matches my shirt. <laughs> and that one's polyester. And this one is what? I don't know. This is all gray and black. Handmade. All silk. This is grays and blacks. Pretty tie. And this is by that that f first one I showed you. R O F F E. Rofe. Rofe. I have to look those up. <clears throat> Thank you. I like getting ties. Now, she sent me a big box too here. First is a men's uh, dress shirt button down by Bill Blass, Bill Blass, size 17, 34, 35, good size, like an Oxford cloth, blue dress shirt. There. And she, she, the total of all the stuff she sent me, including the coat and everything, was $14.95. So when you shop at a church uh, bazaar or church rummage sale, the prices are fantastic. <clears throat> this is an L.L. Bean extra large polo shirt. In yellow, nice big size. And another polo, some other polo shirts. This is by Croft and Barrow. That's a, a Coles brand in this melon color. Polo shirt. It looks pink there. That's the color it is right there. When I bring it back here, it looks pink. Okay, I I asked her if she'd like she'd like to go uh, be my shopper in Erie, but I just with all the animals and now now. Uh, eBay, it's hard to get away. Here's a uh, PGA Tour in a large polo shirt in the yellow, and this is all polyester, soft, light. It's a nice one. I'm finding that all of Nike's polo shirts, their Nike golf polo shirts, they all, they have Nike written on them and the swoosh and everything, but they all, almost all of them have on the sleeve the name of a golf club. 
probably where they were sold at. You know, some people that doesn't matter. Other people don't like that on there. But here's a Greg Norman. This is one of those. It's it's like a dry fit. Oh, this is a long sleeve one too. Play dry, he calls it, in a large, in this maroon color. This is a nice uh, long sleeve polo. I don't have hardly any long sleeve ones. But there is Greg Norman. That's a really nice fabric too. I was gonna fall over there. This is so much fun getting things in the mail. <laughs> Here's a Nike, black, uh, just a black tee, there's swish on it, just all black, it's called the Nike tee, athletic cut, size medium in that dry fit fabric, that's nice, and there's no club names or anything on that. <clears throat> oh, I see something sparkly here. Very sparkly. This must be a two-piece. Yeah, here's this is by Escape. Xscape. X Scape. In a large. And this is the under blouse. Lots of sparkle. And then this is the over blouse. It's beautiful. And it doesn't, how does it? It just clips at the neck here, you know, with the little hook and eye. <clears throat> and then it just uh, hangs. I can do this myself. Long sleeves, pads. So this could be from 70s, 80s, because the pads are pretty thick. This is in my day here. I have a black, in fact, I'm getting sparkles all over me. Uh, I have a black and white one, not nothing like this, but a sparkly one upstairs, too. It's good for <clears throat> in the, uh, the Christmas season, so it's winter type season. You guys, sparkles all over me. Okay, uh -huh. here's a pair of swim shorts, swim trunks, size, this is by Sun and S Sand and Sun in a large, which is a 36-38. Ooh, <clears throat> tropical. And there's sparkles in this box, too. One more piece. Another pair of swim trunks by Nike. Extra large. Black and orange and the Nike spell out there on the leg. Good size. Perfect. Piece of fuzz. <clears throat> I get off of there. And sparkles. <laughs> it's a swipe on the back. Nice job, Sue. Don't you like to be a buyer? Isn't that fun?
There. With all the running around today, I was exhausted by, I was home by 3 o'clock or 3.30. But <clears throat> I had to come home twice and back to the store. And uh, she also sent me my birthday present, which I haven't opened because it's not my birthday till the 4th. So I'm saving that to the 4th. It's a big package about this big. So I have no idea what's in it. She usually gives me a Starbucks card, uh, but it's, it's not that because it's big. It's big and it's sturdy. I mean, there's something hard in there. So I won't know till I open it on my birthday. So uh, that's it. I've done pretty well at listing. I have a few more men's hanging things upstairs that I have to measure and list. A couple of sport coats I haven't listed yet. And now I have all this stuff. And tomorrow's half price at Goodwill, or the tag change day. But I may, I may not go to that because I have all this stuff to do. I don't like to get myself overwhelmed. So it is uh, 10 after five, it's time to feed the animals, get these things organized. And uh, there's nothing on TV tonight that I watch, so I'll spend the night getting organized, taking photos before it gets dark, I'll take a few and start listing the stuff I've left to list. So I will see you again next time and my maybe when my chair comes on Monday. I'm excited about that. I have to get rid of the chair I have, somehow drag it out of here. Uh, my handyman isn't coming till the next Monday, so he can't help me. And my dog walker doesn't come, comes on Wednesdays, so she won't be here. So if somebody stops in, they're going to be my helper. But if not, I'll just have to wait, push it out of the way and wait uh, till somebody comes. So I'll close for now and be back another time. So bye, Sue. Thanks. Your check's in the mail tomorrow.